Hello, in this section of the MATLAB Tutor, we're going to learn how to create some special matrices that you might have occasion to, to need to create. Um, the first one is, what if you'd like to create a matrix full of zeros? Now, of course, you can type it all out, but you know you can do that easier uh, by just saying matrix one is equal to, of course, you could you know type in zeros and put the semicolons and all that, but if it's a large matrix, that's kind of cumbersome. You could say, uh, let's put um, uh, some zeros in there and let's make it a three by five matrix. So literally there's a function called zeros. The argument of the function is the number of rows and the number of columns. So when you do that, you get a matrix, you know, a very large matrix, three by five, three rows, five columns. Um, it's very useful if you need a matrix, you know, that's very large. Now obviously MATLAB shows you everything here. But you don't, doesn't, you don't have to have MATLAB echo everything back. If you had an, an, a need to create a very large matrix like that filled with zeros, which sometimes you do, that is a very nice way to do that. Now you can do the same exact thing uh, if you wanted to fill a matrix with ones. You know, four by four, for instance. This is going to create a square matrix, four rows, four columns, filled with ones. If you want to create something that's not square, that's easily done as well. So basically whatever you put in the parentheses for the ones function and the zeros function is going to be the number of rows and the number of columns and MATLAB is going to pad that matrix with ones and that's just something that occasionally you might do especially if you're programming something and you want to initialize a matrix with values um, this is a way to do it. Uh, another thing you can do that's very very useful is when you study matrix algebra you'll learn about something called the identity matrix. So they name this function i, so you could say matrix 3 is equal to i for identity, I guess, even though it's spelled a little bit weird. And if I wanted an identity matrix, a 5 by 5 identity matrix, I would put 5 rows and 5 columns. And what I'm going to get is a matrix with zeros everywhere except ones along the diagonal. This is called an identity matrix. Um, and it's ones across the diagonal. So I can make this any size that I want. Here's a 3 by 3 identity matrix. And you see this saves a lot of time so you don't have to sit there and type out all the elements of your of your matrices. If you ever need an identity matrix just let MATLAB create it for you. Now let me show you one thing. If you create an identity matrix that's not square, so let's say 4, four by uh, 2 or something like this, then what you're going to have is it's going to do its best to put the ones along the diagonal as best it can. You know you put 3 and you know 7 or something it's going to try to put ones along the diagonal as best it can but obviously it's not a square matrix so it's not going to look like a real identity matrix typically identity matrices really are used for square matrices so that's three quick functions I wanted to show you uh, ones zeros and I and the ones function is used to create a matrix filled with ones the zeros function is used to create a matrix full of zeros and the I function is used to create an identity matrix which is zeros everywhere except ones along the diagonal.